hello good afternoon guys today today's topic is about how to provide win load in stat pro my name is navneet krishnan i'm going to explain you how you can do win load i have already created one model which is of 10 stories and you can see all those all those data you can see the 3d rendering i have given all the member properties as well as material properties and plate thickness for the slabs and then I have already provided the dead load and live load. Once if whatever loads you are providing, dead load should come first for any structure. And if you check about wind load, right, it is a special kind of loading which you need to provide define first, and then the second step is you are going for load in the load case details. So if you want to define a wind load, you should go to commands. <coughs> then go for de loading definitions and then you can see wind load here so once I'm selecting the wind load it opens and you can see type 1 and wind commands type 1 you can add different types of loads for example you have one kind of wind which will be affecting from x direction or another kind of wind will be coming from z direction so you can add two types of wind winds because the intensities of those winds will be different in each condition. I'm going to click add this one. Then it will be asking you whether you want to add type 2 load. No, for now I'm just adding type 1 wind. I'm going to close it and you can see at definitions in wind definitions type 1 wind has been added. I'm selecting the type 1 wind one and then I'm going to click add which will be asking you first about the intensity then about the exposures and you can see intensity by default it is shown as custom right if you check here if you know if you if you don't know the values of intensity as well as height you can see here if you want to give according to the code you will be having assign three parameters right or you can see it down calculate as per the american codes aace 7 so first I am going to provide it as a custom one then I will explain you how you are going to do based on the ASC. So if you check in a building the wind intensity will be different at different different heights. For example suppose my building is 50 meters of height. If you check we will always avoid if you have nearby buildings it will be holding all the wind to be hitting on your building so you usually avoid or you don't consider the wind till mostly till 15 to 20 meters and then you will be having some extra intensity right you can get these values from your surveys data or or from your area data from your engineer engineers or according to your country standards and you can check here if you calculate the intensity maximum intensity for a usual wind it will be up to 2 maximum so I'm just selecting 0.75 kN per meter square is the intensity till 35 meters and if you check here I'm just going to find till 1.5 till 50 meters of my height 50 meters height of my building for example but here my total building height is up to 30 meters only so I'm going to resize the wind and I'm going to take it 0 0.75 till 20, 25 meters and then one, one, one intensity 1 till 30 meters. <coughs> Once you've provided this, you can click add and then it will be asking you exposure factor. Exposure factor means how much each area or each section of your building is affected to your wind. If you check here, if you calculate at all those data as per the calculation, the optimum or the ideal case will be 1. But if you are taking a practical case, you don't want to do the over design because you will be having windows or some air escapement areas in your building. You can go for an optimum value of 0.9 such that you are not over designing for the wind. Once you finish that you can click close and then you can see the exposure should definitely be assigned to your nodes right if you don't have any other exposures you can even 
right uh, assign it to view such that the corresponding exposures will be taken together once you have provided this intensity next i'm going to go for commands and then loading going for primary load and the loading type should be wind and then i'm going to provide wind load the name as wind load i'm going to click add then close then you can select in the load phase leaders uh, details you can get the wind load i'm selecting that wind load and then i'm going to add the wind load here once you're adding the wind load here you can see from these loads i am selecting wind load and since you have not created any other type you can just be stick on to one and then you can see here the wind can be affecting in four different areas that is it can be through x direction it can be through z direction it can be through minus x that means leeward or sidewall force that means you have a big blower for example inside your factory floor the wind will be affecting inside through inside it's not a natural wind it's a machine created wind which will be affecting inside walls so it will be leeward or side wall force in the both direction and suppose if you click x and the factory is one if you do that it the wind will be acting in the positive x direction and then as that one uh, if you make it minus one it will be affecting in the negative x direction and then you can see here right what should be your maximum y range i'm providing my maximum y range is 30 meters because my building height is 30 meters and then i'm going to click add which will be and then closing it which will be showing you the wind load the wind loads will be acting as the point force so if you want to decrease the scale of the point force you can right increase the arrow size you can get it and you can apply and click ok now as the data which we have provided previously you can see here if you check till 15 meters there is no zero intensity of your wind and then till 20, 20, 20 25 meters you can get up to 0.75 intensity and the rest will be till 30 meters you can get one one intensity kilonewton per meter square and if you check the perpendicular view that is a side view you can get the distribution of wind load to each node each area will be divided into four and the corresponding loads will be transferred into your node in a diagonal wise so you can get the distribution also and if you check at the top one if you see there will only be two columns and the effect because there will be some escapement of the air it will be taking half the load of the previous ones this is how you provide the standard wind and then i'm going to this one i'm going to just edit this and you can see when i'm changing my directions how to change make it or how to make it act on the negative x direction you can change it so it transfers or if you want it at z direction you can see it as z direction and then if you want it as negative z and positive z direction you can change it and as I have, I have already told you can even act wind if you have an ex internal source wind can even affect in the internal areas that is you can see the wind will be affecting on the inside walls not from outside so that is actually leeward and so or side wall faces now i'm telling i'm going for x windward force only right and i'm going to close it and then you can even define like the floor loads define x rate and y rate suppose i'm having i'm having a another building which is very near to me of the 30 meters same height or even maybe 28 meters or 30 meters high and then I'm exposed to that side wind only maybe till 10 meters you can change that you can see here the effect of the wind will be taken till 0 to 10 meters only 
if you make it 0 to 0 that means you are it is acted completely now suppose my structure is an open structure like a mobile tower or transmission tower it will be an open structure the wind will be passing through you can click here open structure and see the difference it will not be blocked at the starting areas it will be affected right correspondingly to each and every area I can just zoom and show you the effect but now my force it is it is normal one itself and then you can provide get it here now I'm going back to the definitions again to show you how you can calculate our loads according to American Society of Civil Engineers I'm going for loading definition and then I'm going to the wind load it will be asking you the type 2 wind since I have already added type 1 I'm going to add then I'm going to close it then I'm selecting type 2 wind and I'm going to add at the time I'm not I don't know the intensities I'm going to take from my code books right by default only you can see either SINIP parameters or the American AAC parameters available in the stat so I'm selecting calculate as per ASCE you can get all the data which you can provide manually and it automatically calculates the intensity as well as the height accordingly first thing it is said you can check for the code right then you can go for building classification category then what is your building basic wind speed that is for example my, my area is near seashore I am expecting 50 kilometers per hour or 40 kilometer per hour wind in regular intervals you can take the average wind speed here then you can have exposure category whether you're completely exposed or you can just check for the American codes right to get all these values and we well, how my what is my structure type whether it's a building structure or chimney tank all those stuff you can select it and then suppose you ha your building is very near to a small hill right if it is an asymmetrical hill or normal hill right you can select here this yes and then you can give the values by because the wind will be block, blocked by your hill to some extent so I am telling if you want to give all those data you can provide it once you do that you can click apply and then go to main building data here you can specify what is your building height I am telling building height it is 30 meters then what should be your building length along the wind direction that is I am just planning to do it along the z direction what is the length in the z direction it is 15 meters and what should be your x if you selected x z here right this will be x I am telling it is 20 meters then what is your building natural frequency and what is your building damping ratio whether it is an open building or completely enclosed buildings as you're changing the values you can see the height as well as intensity graph has been changed and whether you want to just use the i and kd values you can use that also then you can go for building pressure where you can get the height as well as intensity data very clearly once you click that i'm going to click ok it automatically adds your intensity versus height graph automatically in your structure once you're done with that I'm going to click add and then as I told you before you're going to provide the exposure and I know my exposure is going to happen only in the Z direction so I'm going for the top view and then I'm going to take right my I'm going to select my exposure and I'm going to assign in my this side I'm selecting only those side nodes and then assigning to that selected nodes once you finish that I'm going for my same load case details and in the wind load I'm going to add a new wind load and I'm selecting wind load from this left pane and now I'm going to apply my second type of wind I don't want first wind data I want the second wind data and I'm going to apply it in the z direction 
and if you check here I have not added the height that is why it is not showing me I'm going to edit that and I'm providing here 30 meters height and then if you check the it has taken the other side so I'm going to make it minus 1 to affect from this minus z direction once you finish that you have finished the wind loads now you can go for loading automatic load combinations and which code you are selecting you can select the corresponding low codes and generate loads and if you check you have three different combinations you can select which one you need first one it is that you're multiplying 1.4 with the dead load and 1.6 with the live load second combination is that you are multiplying 1.4 with the uh, live load and 1.4 with the wind load but I need the combination of all three that is dead load by 1.2 live load by 1.2 and wind load by 1.2 I'm going to add the one which I require once you do that you can go for loading analysis perform analysis to print all the results and then I'm going for the analysis it will do the analysis and show you the result if you check there are no errors there is one warning we will first look at the warning you can see your view output file and it will be showing you the one right it is just consecutive analysis commands only first one used which can easily be removed from the stat editor if you just come down you can see perform analysis print all is done twice I'm going to delete one and then I'm going to save and then close it now I'm going for analysis again which will doing analysis without any warnings so zero errors zero warnings I'm going for the post processing mode I'm going to click done I don't want to see the results of all the individual load pairs only for the combinations I need which will be showing you displacement I am going to provide my a scale for my displacement for my visual purpose then if you check here I can go to the animation which will be showing you the effect of wind load right since I have just decreased for my scale for my display purposes you will be seeing right it has as a fluctuated right so once you finish that we have finished the wind load topic thanks thanks for listening to me yes